Hello everyone, how are your lives treating you? It's Eric Klemer here once again coming at you with another episode of EML77 TV, episode 263, baby. June's off and running and it's off and firing, ladies and gentlemen. This week has been crazy as far as TV and entertainment wise, as you know. The special premiere of Pressure Luck happened this Tuesday. I thoroughly enjoyed it. They had done another episode, series uh, premiere on Wednesday along with the Card Sharks premiere. And I did uh, that, uh, talked about that in the last episode. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, please do so. Um, go to my channel, of EML77TV. That's, as you know, um, I don't know if all y'all know this, but this is my second cha- YouTube channel. I figured uh, after all the debacle I've been through since two, uh, uh, between 2016 and 2017, I figured I would open up a new channel just in case if that debacle would cause my old channel to close down, but my old channel has not closed down. I've chosen not to put any more videos on it, uh, so to speak, uh, as far as my my series is concerned. So I decided to start a new series on a new channel. I did this back in 2018 to make it make sure it's troll free and and you know full of positivity and fun. And uh, you know, there's some people that choose to dislike some of these videos on this new channel. That's fine. I'm not bothered by it one iota. And so I decided, well, why the heck not? Let's do it. So, <clears throat> as you know, and I know a lot of times, you know, you see um, you see my room in my background, thinking you need to clean it and everything else. Well, if you, you can see this now, it's been a little bit more organized than usual because, like I said, on the last ep- uh, few episodes ago, I talked about buying three crates um, from the soon-to-be-closing uh, Payless Shoe Stores at my local mall in Dartmouth, Massachusetts that I, or, that I work at. I live in New Bedford, but I work in Dartmouth. Um, and uh, and these and these crates were a lot bigger than the black crates I've been having. And these gray, large crates have made a humongous, and I mean humongous, difference as far as that is concerned. And I am totally excited. And it has... Did so much, uh, much make a difference so so much that I decided, well, I might as well straighten this bureau out. I actually have a mirror now I can look myself into, and uh, it's been like I said, it's uh, that was last week. So uh, I, I keep I keep discovering more things that I could do to clean up and um, get some stuff and everything else. So it's been pretty pretty good. So I'm really um, very happy about it. So that's why you see a little bit more of a neatness, so to speak. And I know I don't usually fold up my clothes. I gotta get rid of some clothes. Been hoarding a lot, so may as well, you know. I'll be next on my list. Anyways, <clears throat> anyways, I bought myself some new hangers because the old hangers, the wiring hangers, go all out crazy. I said, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. <clears throat> so. Um, <clears throat> So I'm gonna need another container from my hats, so I don't have much of enough on the hat rack, and most of these hats are collecting dust. Anyways, I got brand new hats and whatnot, um, so I'm going to try to do that. You know, I think the more containers I get, I think the less boxes, I, you know, the more boxes I can get rid of, and the less you know I have to worry about. But whatever, you know, this week's been crazy enough. Special uh, sneak premiere of Pressure Luck happened um, this past Tuesday. The series premiere happened Wednesday. Best Wednesday, along with the Card Sharks premiere. Uh, also on Wednesday, too, the only reason why it, they got beat in the ratings is was Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals, which the, the Blues beat the Bruins four games to three. And, uh, you know, I feel bad for my Bruins, but you know what? You know, St. Louis did um, play hard and, play, and earned it. But there was another team in basketball that played hard and earned their championship. That would be the Toronto Raptors. They defeated the, the Golden State Warriors, who have been dominant for the last few seasons. In, in championships uh, wise, they beat they beat the Warriors four games to two to win their first NBA title in their 24 year franchise history. Congratulations to the Toronto Raptors. Congratulations to the people, uh, folks up there in Canada, uh, folks like uh, N- Natalia, Renee Young, um, my friends up in against the Fane, the Sonyas, uh, Mark Leota. Brody Young, Justin Noyes, Andrew Hawking. C- congratulations to all of you guys up there uh, who have been in Toronto, um, who have been rooting for the Raptors. Congratulations to you all. Tor- 
Toronto Raptors, they earned it. They deserve it. Congratulations. I'm in room for I, I'll be honest with you, I'm always rooting for them. If the Celtics didn't make it further into the playoffs, I would cheer for like whoever has not held the NBA uh, NBA title. It would be it was tough for me to either root for the Bucks or the Raptors. The Bucks beat my Celtics in the second round to advance, but the Raptors upset the Bucks and they beat the Warriors, the Golden State Warriors, to advance to win the NBA championship. So congratulations to the Toronto Raptors. And I heard Canada's partying like crazy now. I think today. I think, I think they're going to have a parade soon, so they're going to, I think it was Monday, I heard. No, I know Saturday is the St. Um, Louis Blues uh, Stanley Cup Parade, so they're partying like crazy there, and uh, I heard Brett Hall is, uh, you know, to- totally crazy, <laughs> you know, wearing a shirt called, that, says, that says Ric Flair Drip. Uh, uh, crazy, but you know, it's, it's good to see teams win their championship for the first time in years and all that, too, so I gotta take off my hat to the Blues. Even though, you know, people say, "Okay, the referee screwed the Bruins. Uh, the Bruins got pl- got got screwed with dirty plays from the St. Louis Blues." You, you know, I think, like I said, like I said on, on the a uh, couple episodes ago, the Bruins lack. You know, like they, they, you know, they had everything they going, but unfortunately, they. Uh, I don't know. You know, if they let the referees' bad calls get to them. Or, you know, let the bad plays, you know, the dirty plays by St. Louis get to them and all that to the point where they say, hey, we can't counter this, we can't do this. You know, like I said, in those uh, ten things I mentioned, that's what, you know, that's what the Patriots, uh, the Patri- that's what the Bruins kind of lacked. And I, it's, 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 uh, it's crazy. But, like I said, I'm trying to be a gracious, uh, you know, I'm going to try to be a gracious um, Boston sports fan. And congratulations to St. Louis. Congratulations to the Toronto Raptors. Hey, you know, you guys earned your championships, and you earned my respect. You know, uh, a salute to you. And uh, I'm just, um, <clears throat> in a, so that's, you know, that's the thing. Like I said, the Raptors, man. The Raptors, I think, if the, I do have an old school Raptors hat. I'll probably wear an old school Raptors hat in their, in their honors, you know, just to, because I like the, um, the old school logo they had back in 1995. And I thought it was pretty cool. So, uh, congratulations to the Toronto Raptors. And, uh, <laughs> uh-oh. Oh, wow. Raphael Devers, wow. All right. He made an excellent play. So, anyways. Um, so, you know, we got 13 more days to Super Mario Maker 2. Looking forward to creating some levels there and uh, showing y'all what I've been doing. And the, uh, it'd be interesting to see what these new modes, new characters, new everything, including the new Super, uh, in the new, in Super Mario 3D World mode. I can, I can, ima- I got some really crazy ideas with that. You know, it's going to be insane in the membrane. <coughs> yeah. And uh, and and uh, it, it's going to be uh, going to be crazy. <laughs> and there's another out. There you go. Nice job, Sander. And uh, I want to thank Alex Parajas for uh, uh, Paraz for uh, inviting me to his Discord. You know, I've always been interested in joining. He's, he's a very entertaining host. If you watch some of his videos, uh, please do so. I'll probably uh, it's L4 GSTV channel. Um, just uh, check out his channel. He makes a great um, uh, game shows. I know Kevin Henry, one of my buddies, has been involved in that. Um, in that channel as well, uh, you know, and he's hosting Card Sharks, and he's hosting a Super Pressure Luck version, and I hope, excuse me, I'm hoping to um, get involved in that very, very soon, I want to get to know the folks there, and uh, and uh, see what, you know, what develops, you know, I'm looking for, a lot of things in June I'm looking forward to, it's going to be crazy, uh, tomorrow is Father's Day as well, and I will probably give a Father's Day verbal tribute to my father, which will tie in, I think, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wish everyone a happy Father's Day right now. Wish my father a happy Father's Day. I'm really proud of him. I love him. And he's a good father. And, you know, if you guys have fathers out there, wish them a happy Father's Day. Tell them you love them. And, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there, a lot of folks out there who have a tough time with their fathers and all that. For whatever reason, whatever circumstances have happened, just uh, remember, you know, just uh just hang in there and be strong. That's all you gotta do. And uh, I know it's 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 um, hang in there and be strong. That's all I can all I can tell you this time. And just encourage you just to uh, be 
be proud of who you are and what you do and everything else. And uh, But also, uh, I'm going to be do more of a tribute to my dad on this coming Friday, because this coming Friday will be the last day of Sears Auto Center, my father's old workplace. And the reason why I decided to do that, because that place has made a humongous impact in my father's life. And I will explain more on that when I do the video this coming Friday. And as you know, uh, like I said, 13, you know, say 13 more days. So, Smart Maker 2, I think I mentioned that before. Sorry about that if I had to repeat it again. But um, I am looking forward to it. And I report, I re, uh, reported it. <laughs> I reported Super Mario Maker 2. I'm in trouble, everybody. Everybody come at me. No, <laughs> no I meant to say I pre-ordered for it on Amazon. That's what I meant to say. I reported. Well, I'm reporting Super Mario Maker 2. <laughs> What'd you do? You ruined our lives, man. <laughs> Sorry. No, I meant to say I pre-ordered Super Mario Maker 2 on Amazon. <laughs> Nintendo, I'm reporting Super Mario Maker 2 for not, you know, well, what's your excuse? Well, you didn't give us Big Boss Basses and Big Burpas, uh, the Boss Basses and Big Burpas, I want them. You gave us Porky Puffers. <laughs> porky Puffers, what do I want Porky Puffers for? Uh, I don't mind Porky Puffers. But <laughs> porky Puffers. Anyways, <laughs> oh boy, uh... No, seriously, I'm looking forward to Super Mario Maker 2. I pre-ordered it on Amazon. Can't wait to get it. And uh, so I'm pretty stoked. So I'm going to, let's see. Uh, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to have some fun and, like I said, create some levels. I did pick up a Contra Anniversary Collection. And I, I don't know what it is, why I'm having trouble executing the Konami code perfectly. Because I try to try to enter the Konami code keeps us three three lives. Three, I want thirty guys, and I finally got thirty guys. And uh, and Contra Hardcore is pretty tough. It's a pretty pretty tough level. And I um, hope I can enter the Konami code for that version. I don't know. Let's see if I can for the Sega Genesis version. That's why I got here. And it's really really cool. All these Contra games. They come out, and uh, I'm looking. I personally am looking forward to, uh, like I said, to Super Mario Maker 2. I'm just excited, and just uh, so we'll see what happens here. Um, uh, what else is happening? Oh, um, a friend of my sister's and his family will be coming to visit us tomorrow. They're coming all the way from Pennsylvania. Which is going to be a very interesting uh, situation. We, this is the first time we're going to meet them. And they'll be coming to our church as well. They have a lot in common with our family as well. So I'm hoping that things will work out. And uh, my, my, my youngest is my young sister, um, youngest sister's friend. She's looking forward to it. And it'd be very, like I said, it would be very interesting to meet them and get to know them and uh, see what happens. So I'll, probably be stuck. I'll be down here. You know, it's, it's so hard. You spend a lot of time with your family. You work hard all morning, and then all of a sudden you're tired. You didn't day. Your dog tired. You're like, you're like, dude, I need to get some sleep or re relax or something. And you know, I mean, last night I didn't get any sleep. I'll be honest with you right now. I did not get any sleep. I was up late trying to get my laundry done, cleaning my work clothes, hangout clothes, my bed sheets to make sure they're nice and clean, and. I didn't get much sleep last night. I didn't go to bed till like almost four in the morning. <laughs> I was like, "Thank God I got Saturdays off, man," because that's the, you know, it's it's going to be tough. So I'm going to, and I am I'm considering I'm making some changes to my uh, you know laundry. If I if if I have to do bed sheets, I'm going to do them first. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? Just a. Uh, and just, it's it's crazy. It is nuts. I just personally am just going, woof, I don't know. It's it's uh, <laughs> that type of day, I'm telling you. It's been that time, uh, then that time of day, type of day, I'll tell you. And uh, I'm trying to watch the Red Sox game at the same time. And uh, we'll see what happens. And um, just... I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a totally insanely crazy, that's for sure. Well, that's all the time we have on the show. Um, God's blessings, life, love, and 
love and heart to all of you. A catch on the flip side. Remember, pay attention. You might learn something. What's going to be happening on 264, possibly. And, uh, oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's out. Hmm. Xander. Xander. Uh. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you on episode 264. Bye.